As you can see here, this is the photo that was tweeted out for the Play Avengers leading up to the new war table, February 15th, right after Valentine's Day. They're trying to get sweet on us. We're going to get deep dive into this photo. You see Hawkeye with his blade. Hopefully Ronin is a costume, and I'm just, I'm just going to immediately get Ronin. Down here in the lower right-hand side, of it, we have BP, more BP stuff. So Black Panthers definitely include, like, has something to do with whatever the next major storyline is. Black Panther is a huge player. Cap Shield. We have these arrows. These arrows could signify Kate. I don't think there's a differentiation between her arrows and Hawkeye's. There are. Hawkeye's arrows have red tips at the end. And these arrows do not. This staff could be something. I'm not really sure. This cape definitely belongs to Thor. It's also Thor's hammer. Iron Man's helmet. So, no Black Widow or Miss Marvel in this one, it looks like. We have Maestro with some powers coming out of his hands. I think that's super important to think about. There is no scroll here or Kree. It's Kree, I'm sorry, the enemies of Kiri. There's no Kree here. So this lets me know that this takes place differently from this. This is when Hawkeye goes to the future in the story for the first time. Maestro, I think, was my theory. I have a theory video out. You guys will see that. My theory is that Maestro is um, actually going to be, you know, like Hawkeye goes to the future a second time when he gets put into the coma. That's my theory. Because then we see AIM here. AIM is like. They're the, they're the enemy coming after Hawkeye, right? That's the other way around. And on the, because I don't see any Kree involved in this whatsoever. Like, more aimbots destroyed by Maestro. The Kree ship destroyed. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, right? Hawkeye goes to the future once and comes back and warns him about the Kree invasion. So they defeat the Kree. They defeat the Kree, right? Maybe that's the thing. They defeat the Kree. And then when Hawkeye goes into stasis, they go through all this shit. And since Monica, you know, her relationship with Banner, that comes to play all finally. And she releases Banner's mind and the Hawk's body together. So we get Maestro in this dark timeline where AIM is now the threat for the future. And that's how, you know, BP came involved. And then Hawkeye's new thing is to get to that tribe traveling, which Maestro is guarding, as you can see. Get behind that vault and get to the teleporter to go back in time to rewarn the Avengers that, hey, not only do we have to kill, the, you know, take care of the Kree invasion, AIM is not to be trusted. Like, flat out, Amy's just not to be trusted. That could be that could be his whole thing. Future and Perfect, that could be literally his whole story. We'll play a whole time-traveling arc of one or two ways. Now, I there has to... Me, personally, I think BP will be the guest character here. Is either him or Nick Fury will be the guest fighter. Um, I'm really looking forward to this, personally, because we need it, right? We just need it. And um, that's it for my video today. Good to see you.